What's up, everybody? Ben Rezzi here for Odd Chopper. Good morning. Happy Monday, July 29th. Means we got a couple days left. Two days, three days left in the month of July. Then we turn the page to August, which is college football season. Things are about to pick up here at Odd Chopper. But in the meantime, putting another play on the board. We're going to go through our processes we do every single morning. I want to welcome you to the channel. Take a couple minutes and look around. See what kind of content we're putting out. If you like what we see, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Helps us greatly. Yesterday, you know what helped us greatly? Putting another win on the board in comeback fashion. How about those angels rallied from a big deficit? Uh, we are getting the breaks. We're getting the bounces. And I think that the, the reads are sound. Five straight winners on this video. It feels good to be back. Uh, hopefully this will be continuing into August. Let's just try to keep it going here. I mentioned the process, the reads. It's all courtesy of Odd Chopper. We are here. We have tools, picks, Discord, all of it here to make you a better, better simple as that if you have been betting and you're looking for a home come on in see what we're about we really can change the way that you bet don't win all the time nobody does but the process is sound picks discord and tools all in one package the link is below come in for the week see if it is what you've been looking for and see if it can change your betting for the positive now let's get into it let's do our process we're going to the baseball board why change what is working scrolling scrolling you see, I'm in the totals market. Ding, ding, ding. The ugliest game may be on the board. Royals, White Sox. I could just probably bet the Royals and call it a day. 164 is not that bad. But I will be going over nine runs at minus 102. So basically a coin flip here. Uh, eight and a halfs are gone. So you get reduced juice, but there is push equity now on nine. And let's talk about it. We got the Royals, 57 and 49, 21 and 27 away from home. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alec Marsh on the mound, 7-7 seven and seven with a 4.75. Uh, 5.11 on the road, and July has not been great to him, 7.80. So he's hittable. Uh, let's get that out of the way. You know, the Royals are obviously the better team here. They have the higher implied team total and all that. They're going to be responsible most likely for getting us over in the sense they're going to need to put up five, six, seven runs on their own. And then the White Sox do a little and we call it a day. But Marsh has definitely been hittable. And I don't think it's crazy to think that the White Sox put some production up on the board. Speaking of the White Sox, Flexen is on the mound, a two in 10 record with a 5.25. It's up to 5.6 in July. The splits are pretty bad, no matter what you really carve up home away, July, May, it doesn't matter. He's been getting hit for quite a while. The team this is more secondary. I don't think it's really actionable. The team has lost 14 straight flex and starts. Uh, that's just bad. Um, now, when you're 27 and 81, that'll happen. 17 and 37 at home, which is horrendous. But compared to their road record, uh, it actually makes it look pretty good. They get predominantly their wins in their own ballpark. And I kind of like that because I do think that the White Sox, you know, there's always equity that you get blown out. And one team basically takes the total on for themselves. But more realistically, I think this is the type of game where we need, you know, a 7-5, an 8-4 type output, uh, which means that the White Sox have to do their part. And I think that they will. Again, I think they can get to Marsh. And I certainly think on the flip side that the Royals can get to Flexen. Like basically everybody has this year. I don't see that changing. I searched and I wanted to find an angle here. I didn't like the laying. Uh, a run line at straight even money. I would much rather have over nine at the same price. Minus 164, I think is pretty close. I'll keep an eye on it. I might add it. Uh, but right now, give me over nine runs in the Royals White Sox game at minus 102 on FanDuel. There you have it, friends. Let's just keep it rolling again. I know it's one pick and one pick only, but we are betting a lot of stuff in Discord. The Olympics are in there, soccer is in there, certainly. Prepping for college football. Can't wait to that. And I can't wait to unveil some of the really big news here at Odd Chopper. It's going to change what we are doing. No better time to be part of it. If you have any questions, though, at JazzRazDFS on Twitter. And before I leave you, another way to get a little boost to the bankroll is Bet365. Because Pennsylvania is now there. I say it every day, and I'm going to keep saying it. Because Pennsylvania and Bet365 are in business, and they join Arizona, Indiana, Iowa, North Carolina, New Jersey, Colorado, Louisiana, Ohio, Virginia, Kentucky. If I said your state. It's right on the screen. You can bet five bucks, win or lose, get 150 in bonus bets. Link is below. Not a bad idea before football season to have a little extra money to play with, courtesy of Bet365. You got to be 21 plus, 18 in Kentucky if you have a gambling problem. A 100 gambler. Good luck today, friends. Enjoy the games. Enjoy your Monday. 
Let's do it all again tomorrow. For me, for the Royals, and for the White Sox, enjoy. I'll talk to you guys soon.